aftershocks continued. Aftershocks that continued well into the night. Out of the earthquake outbreak, three deadly quakes in three days. The soaring death now toll, the search three for victims. earthquakes in three days in what is known as the Ring of Fire. It's that hot zone that forms a horseshoe around the Pacific Ocean. In a moment, we're going to ask an expert, could these events trigger a quake for us here at home? But we're going to start right now. It's been a pretty active past few days for the planet. A string of earthquakes around the Pacific Ring of Fire is wreaking havoc across the globe and unearthing some unusual phenomena. And were there warning signs before these earthquakes that were ignored by science? It seems many people in Japan believe in a phenomenon known as earthquake clouds, harbingers of big earthquakes, and many of these did appear in the days prior to these latest earthquakes in Japan. But more on that in just a few minutes. It began with a 6.2 earthquake in Japan. At 9.26 p.m. on Thursday, April 14, 2016, residents of Kumamoto, Japan, felt the largest shaking felt in Japan since the deadly 8.9 earthquake in 2011. Three hours later, just past midnight, another 6.0 quake struck the same region. As rescue efforts from the first two quakes were still underway, amid smaller aftershocks, an even bigger magnitude 7.0 quake struck the same location early Saturday morning. All of these quakes were approximately 6 to 7 miles in depth. And only hours after the 7.0 struck Japan, Ecuador was hit by a devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake that killed upwards of 270 people. And then on Sunday, a powerful 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck Tonga, although there are no reports of any casualties or damages from that quake. And all of these earthquakes are happening in quick succession, one right after the other. While some news outlets seem to be mentioning the likelihood of these major earthquakes being interconnected via the Pacific Ring of Fire, many are reporting that so-called scientists are labeling the string of quakes a mere coincidence. The recent string of quakes in Japan triggered a minor eruption from the country's largest volcano, Mount Aso. This graph shows that the volcano was completely quiet until around the 15th of April, when we see the site suddenly becoming active. Hopefully there's not going to be any big eruptions in the near future from Mount Aso. A massive landslide subsequently occurred in a mountainous region of Japan near the epicenter of the main shock, wiping out a highway. And an unusual sight was seen in Fukuoka Prefecture in Japan the day of the deadly 7.0 magnitude quake. A thick carpet of foam filled the streets. This actually became my most shared Facebook post ever, so you guys were highly interested in this mystery foam. There doesn't seem to be a definitive explanation from any officials, but rumor has it that it was from a busted sewer pipe of some sort, as we know foam is often associated with water treatment. And still another anomaly was seen, or rather captured, in Japan. A rare megamouth shark weighing in at approximately one ton was netted by a fisherman shortly after the big quake. It's only the 61st of its kind ever to be seen and documented. Now what about those earthquake clouds? What some might call a tinfoil-hatted superstition might actually have some basis in science. So what are they? Earthquake clouds are clouds often taking the form of what many call a chemtrail that appear before an earthquake. So the theory goes, and I'm hoping somebody can expand upon this better in the comments. Maybe you guys have some more detail on the connection between chemtrails and earthquakes. From what I understand, the theory goes, that deliberate chemtrailing is going on in order to cause earthquakes, which involves manipulation of the ionosphere via an ionospheric heater such as HARP, and the chemtrails possibly serving to propagate the electromagnetic energy and focus it onto the target on the ground, such as Japan. There are other theories by actual scientists who do see the connection between strange clouds and earthquakes, 
and just think that it's some type of natural precursor that occurs. It's possible that both theories are true. And there's a link in the description below to a scientific study about earthquake clouds. But in Japan, it's almost common knowledge that earthquake clouds exist. Many people in Japan believe this, and they've even attempted to get it down to a science with websites dedicated to monitoring real time data of what they believe is earthquake precursory phenomena. So these clouds that appear are often in the form of chemtrails and gravity wave clouds, of which there have been ongoing sightings of these in Japan in the days leading up to and the days following these earthquakes. I found a Japanese bulletin board dedicated to earthquake clouds. And I found another website that shows earthquake cloud types. So let's compare some of the recent earthquake cloud sightings in Japan to the earthquake cloud types that they have listed. This one looks like a ripple shape, according to their diagram. Then we have one that matches the straight up and down earthquake cloud, as well as one that matches the fault-shaped earthquake cloud. And I'm sure if we kept looking, we could find an example for each in recent days in Japan. But of particular interest is one that was posted on the 15th of April that shows a satellite image over Japan. A straight cloud line goes directly through the epicenter in Kumamoto. I thought that was kind of weird. And then this one posted on the 13th of April before any of these big earthquakes began was posted on Twitter by somebody and they said earthquake cloud and that post later on went viral when the prophecy was fulfilled the following day as for the real-time monitoring website that's pretty interesting I'll leave all the links in the description below for you guys to check that out and finally I'll just leave you with some more recent strange clouds from Japan and Please disregard the poor translation by Google. It even calls April May in a lot of these screenshots. So disregard that. These are all from April, obviously, because May has not happened yet. And I bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. Thank you.